everyone. I want to give you a, a little example of how you could use the same pattern in three different dances. So what we're going to try to uh, show you is, it's called an open left box. Now you can do this figure in a lot of dances. We're going to show you how to do it in three dances. We're going to show you how to do it in the waltz, the foxtrot, and the tango. And we're not going to give you a lot of instruction, but you should be able to pick it up. So in the waltz, we're going to do four measures. We do a one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, and four, two, three. Now the open left box, you're familiar with the closed left box. We already do a forward side, close, back side, close, forward side, close, and back side, close. When they call it open left box, we're going to go outside partner and we're going to pass our feet. So I'm going to do a forward side back, back side forward, forward side back, and back side forward. And you notice that I'm outside my partner throughout that movement. In fact, let me show from this angle. I do a forward side back, and I step back in the same line as my other foot, and Kathy goes outside partner. She does a back side forward. Now I do a back side forward as she does a forward side back. Back side forward, I'm outside partner. I do a forward side back, and then she does a forward side back as I do a back side forward. All right, let me show that again. In the waltz, open left box. We do a one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, and four, two, three. So the whole time I'm doing a forward side back, back side forward, my partner's doing a back side forward, forward side back. Now if I were to do that in foxtrot, instead of the one, two, three timing, you would have the slow, quick, quick timing. We'll still do four measures. We do slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, and slow, quick, quick. Let me count it by the measures. Five, six, seven, eight, one, quick, quick, two, quick, quick, three, quick, quick, and four, quick, quick. And that's how you do it in Foxtrot. Now in tango, you would do it as a quick, quick, slow, a quick, quick, slow. Same idea. Now the Foxtrot and the waltz, very similar posture with the rise and fall. Tango, no rise and fall, you want to stay level and you're going to have some bend in your knees, but you're going to go outside partner with a forward side back, back side forward, but it's going to be a quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So in the tango, it would be a quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. And that's just a little tip on how you can use the same figure in several dances. Thank you very much.